new videos every day. Today we're talking with Field McConnell from abledanger.net. The topic that we'd like to discuss today is the relationship between corporate power and the government power. So, Field, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you. I uh, grew up in a military family all over the country. I graduated from high school at Punahou School in 1967. That's located in Honolulu, Hawaii. If you've heard the name before, it's because President Obama graduated from there in 1979. I later went to Annapolis. I served in the Navy, the Marine Corps, and the Air Force, and today I believe I'm serving the best interest of the citizens of the United States of America, and especially the younger citizens who need to develop some understanding of the relationship between our political branches and our bureaucracies and the corporate America. The role of the government is supposed to be to oversee the role of the people and the role of corporations, and yet today it seems like corporations have more power than they're supposed to have or were originally given. Could you explain that to us, Field? I can certainly try. I think originally, uh, if we go back a couple hundred years, companies became corporations and corporations competed with each other. And lately, and I'd say specifically in the last 30 years under what has been called deregulation, corporate power has been focused in fewer and fewer entities so that the corporations are vastly more powerful than the individuals and they dictate to the government, it would appear, policy that should be the policy of the uh, elected officials speaking on behalf of their constituents across this country of ours. So with this going on, um, and a, a sort of a basic loss of power for, or a loss of duty for the uh, elected officials, what is that developing in our country? What's happening to our country because of this corporate power? It appears to me that corporations are becoming ever more powerful and the, uh, the will and the benefits to the individual citizens of this country are being brokered through K Street uh, persons who uh, have generally come either from a legal or a political background, and then they become lobbyists for the major corporations, and the major corporations have gotten bigger and bigger through consolidation. I would think a primer to start to understand this would be look at the deregulation of the airline industry beginning in 1978, where we went from about 40 airlines down to about five today, and you could see a concentration of power that is in the best interest of the corporate body, but not we the people. So there's these in entities called lobbyists that seem to be the in-betweens between the corporations and the government. Could you explain the role of the lobbyists? Lobbyists are paid mouthpieces who try to forward an agenda which is typically favorable to corporate America as opposed to being favorable to we the people. And many of these lobbyists come from a political background where they may have been congressmen or senators, and after losing an election or deciding to step out of politics, they've moved across the street, and specifically that's K Street Northwest in Washington, where all the lobbyists uh, try to convince those in elected office to do things in favor of their corporate uh, interest, whether those corporate interests might be Boeing, General Electric, or British Aerospace uh, systems, for example. I'll just speak from my own experience. Uh, the state of North Dakota had a senator uh, who, when he lost his election in the early 80s, went directly from being a senator uh, to being a lobbyist. And ostensibly, the reason is, is because a lobbyist and an ex-senator would be familiar with the workings of the United States of America's government. So, Field, with the structure that you just explained, where is the line drawn uh, for what is good for the people and what is good for the corporations, if there is, in fact, any line to be drawn? The line that should be drawn between the interest of the corporations and the interest of we the people has been blurred over the last 40 years and has gone almost full travel over to the side of the benefits of the corporations over we the people of the United States of America, some 300 million uh, commoners. And uh, this has been done through deregulation, through the manipulation of our elected officials, both in the Congress and the Senate, at the hands of lobbyists, who are very highly paid uh, persons and houses on K Street in Northwest Washington, D.C., who actually control, manipulate, or vastly over-influence the actions of our elected people, be they congressmen or senators. 
It appears over the last so many years that the, uh, in the interest of the major corporations have been placed well ahead of the benefit and the welfare of we the people and especially families in this country. And it's been done through a myriad of avenues, but one that we can all embrace as something that we go through ritually three times a day is the food and the processed food in the United States of America, which does contain in it some things that are not healthful for our bodies, for our families, and for our future. Thank you very much for your attention today. If I've intrigued anyone and your interest has been piqued and you'd like more specific information, I would direct you to www.abledanger, and able is spelled A-B-E-L, abledanger.net, and uh, you can contact us at email links there and we will try to help you come to grips with what's going on in America in 2011. Thank you very much.